I went to Aldi to buy a watermelon and look what I have found. A USB or battery powered five inch rechargeable fan. And I was actually looking for some uh, similar thing for my daughter, uh, for my one year old. So I can carry the fan with wherever we go and kind of like uh, give her some, some relief from this extreme heat that we are getting and looks like this could be the perfect thing i was looking for and says at low setting it will be 12 hour medium setting six hour high setting four hour four hours is good i mean as long as it's like two three hours i would say that's that's a good thing for me that that will work for me three fan speeds three timer setting an adjustable tilt and I can power it directly with the USB. I think it's a USB-C. Uh, let me see actually what's going on inside. My daughter is here to help me. So if it shakes, just know that it's, uh, it's my daughter helping me. Okay. Let me put the knife away. And, okay. Here's the manual. Uh, I'm going through all the pages because it says before using the the device, go through the instruction manual. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Nobody is that. Throw it away. And then, okay, here comes the package. And this is the USB to USB-C. There is a tape. Unboxing 101. If you see a tape, pull it away. <coughs> oh, that's the power button. <coughs> and it does not work. <coughs> Five inch rechargeable fan. So I hooked up the power cable with the wall outlet and let me see it looks like it didn't come with any charge within the battery so this is provided but it doesn't come with any power adapter so you have to provide your own adapter it says it has minimum battery that is good actually it does say where the battery stands and there is maximum, there is four hour, two hour, one hour. Maybe those are the predictions. And high, mid, low, those, that's the speed. Uh, that's why I should have gone through the manual that I chose not to. So I'm just guessing. This is the timer, this is the power. Okay, the power button works. This is at low now. Uh, you would have to come pretty close to feel the airflow. One more press. This is at a medium. Some uh, my face is about a foot away from the fan. Maybe a little bit more than a foot. I can feel the air. And one more press. This is oh, it would not work. Although it's powered, the high speed fan would not work because I'd have to let the battery recharge. So the low would work. So apparently the power is not directly feeding the fan. It's actually going to the battery, battery is feeding the fan. So it's like uh, the power is not bypassing the battery. It's going through the battery. I don't know if it if it makes any sense or like if, if it matters at all but i always thought if the power directly feeds the machine when it's like hooked up it relieves the battery of course you know to to some extent but i'm no electrical engineer uh, that's my guess all in all to me it could be a a real good thing uh, only for eight dollars 
I mean, it does say two years warranty, but I'd be really happy if I could spend this summer with this fan, like, you know, running every day. I would, I would be totally satisfied with the design looks great. My daughter would be really happy to have it with her when we're going out. So I'll let you know how it goes maybe two months later.